What does 20 miles an hour on an e-bike feel like? Stick around to find out. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today we're gonna show you and help you feel what 20 miles an hour feels like on an electric bike. Now, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. All right, right here I've got our 750 watt zip and fold and our 500 watt simple step through. Link to the description below if you wanna check those out. Today, I'm gonna take out the zip and fold and try to give you guys a sense of what 20 miles an hour on an electric bike feels like. I think a lot of riders, when they ride or have been riding a regular bicycle their whole life, they don't really have a sense of how fast or slow they've ridden. And you see now a lot of advertising like, oh, an e-bike can go 20 miles an hour with a throttle or 28 in pedal assist. And nobody has a real sense of what that feels like. So today I'm gonna take you out in the street and just give you an idea and show you how fast it looks like when I ride by. Um, so you can see, get some sense of what 20 miles an hour looks like, and I'm gonna try to convey to you what it feels like as well. So I'm of course gonna wear my helmet, and I think what we're gonna all realize today is 20 miles an hour on an e-bike is pretty fast. So we're gonna suit up, get out to the street, and take you with us. Okay, so we're gonna just do a couple different speeds, and I'm just gonna pass by the camera you can get a sense of what it looks like. So first I'm just gonna start at five miles an hour and we're just gonna ride by, then we'll go to 10, 15, and 20. And you can see uh, what all, they, all of them look like and then I'll kind of describe to you what 20 miles an hour looks like. So here we go. Okay, here's five miles an hour. Not too fast. All right. Let's crank it up to 10, see how that feels. Here's 10, a little faster. Okay, next stop, 15. 15. All right, for the last one, I'm just gonna give it full throttle. Should cap us at 20 miles an hour and uh, hopefully it looks pretty fast. So let's do this. Twenty. So I actually had to do pedal assist with my body weight, I'm 220, just to get us over the, uh, I only hit about 18 and a half just with the throttle. Um, so, I mean, it's fast. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold the camera and take you with me as we do 20 miles an hour and you can kind of feel and hear, you can already hear the wind actually. So let's go ahead and take you along. I, I will say, you know, it's going fast and there's not gonna be many situations where you're gonna go 20 miles an hour unless you're on an open road um, or a path that doesn't have a lot of congestion. Uh, you know, a lot of road cyclists have to ride in the bike lane or places where they can, you know, average 18, 19, 20 miles an hour. So. Again, you're gonna need some wide open space. You're not doing 20 through, you know, um, tight sidewalks or bike trails or things like that. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, if people come out, you gotta hit the brakes and things. So, all right, we'll bring you along with me and I'll show you what it looks like from my POV. Okay, we're off. Now I'm just gonna get up and going here. Okay, 18, 19. Let's get back to the straightaway. We just clipped 20 there. Now you can see 20, that's 20. We're going pretty fast, cars are flying by. Okay, okay, let's turn around. Okay, here we go, back the other way. Okay, that's 20, 22 actually. Gonna hold on with two hands as we come around the corner. Straight away. It's 21. And we are going fast. Woo. All right. 
Now we're going. Oop. Let's go ahead and take our pedal assist down. So I have it in level five. Let's say, you know, 15, 10 to 15 miles an hour is a good sort of cruising pace. And then once you get up to 20, it's, it definitely feels fast. All right, so although it's hard for you to feel what I have feel at 20, feel what I felt at 20 miles an hour, 20 is fast. You know, 10 doesn't feel fast. And I would say, like I said, cruising between 10 to 15 and miles an hour feels good. 20 feels like it's gonna be hard to make good choices in terms of avoiding obstacles and um, avoiding cars and things like that. So again, unless you've got a really wide open space or road, 20 you can do. Otherwise, I mean, it's fast. You can see in the video, cars are passing uh, by me at a pretty fast pace. I was actually get over 20 miles an hour with the pedal assist, but I wouldn't recommend 20 for everybody as a normal cruising speed. 10 to 15 is great. Um, and again, at that, at that high pace, you just, I didn't feel like, you know, you, you worry more about what's coming out of here or what's coming out of there. A little slower, I could survey the scene a little bit better. Now I know that there's road cyclists out there that are riding 20, 25 miles an hour. A lot of them ride in groups, which is really smart. They also, you know, stay on the road, like I said. So if you're gonna go that pace 20 miles an hour, you really wanna be in the street or in a bike lane that's, you know, straight and you feel safe. Um, also, if you're traveling at those speeds, wear a helmet, just be safe. And, um, you know, other body protection is recommended as well. So that's what it feels like to go 20 miles an hour on an electric bike. Share your experience down below. What do you think? Is 20 fast? Is it not fast? Um, I'd love to hear. Or you can reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, like I said, the zip and fold is linked in the description below. This is an awesome 750 watt e-bike can take you up to 20 miles an hour with just the throttle if you're under 200 pounds. Um, but I got just right there, then pedal assist, you're gonna go north of 20 miles an hour. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It zips and it folds and it's fun. In addition to that, we have a 30 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love your e-bike in the first 30 days, you can send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for the first year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your, or sorry, <laughs> Anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of parts and labor to ensure you can keep riding. Lastly, we have a Facebook group with thousands of members called 630 Peddlers. Pop into there and ask existing 630 riders any questions you have before you make a purchase. That way you can get comfortable in advance. Then once you have your e-bike, post in the group, make friends, it's tons of fun, and then download our app so you can track your rides and compete on our leaderboard. It's a lot of fun as well. You can find it in both app stores. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.